Hello friends, this video on solid states part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about doping now. So doping can be done by two methods. One is electron rich. You add electron rich impurity as compared to the intrinsic semiconductor. For example, if I'm taking silicon, add something which is richer than silicon or electron deficient, which is again compared to the intrinsic semiconductor, in case silicon. Right. So let's try and understand the electron rich impurity doping. You dope the silicon, dope silicon with electron rich impurity. Silicon has four valence electron. So in this case, I'll take phosphorus, which has five valence electron. Correct. So since this uh, silicon is a group 14 element, I'll pick something from group 15. Correct of the periodic table. It has four valence electrons, this has five. So when you dope this, this is my typical silicon structure. Uh, now, when I dope this silicon with phosphorus or arsenic, that is five electron, what will happen is they will occupy some lattice site, some silicon will be replaced with germanium. And what will happen is four out of five electrons will be used to form cobalt. For example, if you see now all the four valence electrons are used in formation of covalent bonds right now if i take out the silicon and instead of silicon i put some phosphorus so what will happen here if you see there will be bond form here there will be bond form here there will be bond form here and let's suppose you form bond here so one bond one electron is extra right because there are five now on this one electron is extra so since this electron is extra this electron becomes delocalized. This electron is delocalized. So this electron, delocalized electron, will increase the conductivity of this doped silicon or germanium. Right? So this doped silicon or germanium is doped with electron rich impurity. Since it has more electron, and if you see electron is nothing but negative charge, they are called n-type semiconductor n-type semiconductor the another, let's understand the doping with electron deficient impurity so if you see this silicon is again in group 14 we have just discussed so if we disc if we dope with something which is group 13 or 12 also then we'll have electron deficit impurity okay? because this is the impurity here this is the impurity this is electron deficient compared to silicon when we talk about electron rich or electron deficient we compare with silicon or whatever is the main element right so here the main solid state is silicon and the impurity is boron this silicon has four valence electron this boron has three valence electrons so it is electron deficient okay so let's see what happens this is a silicon uh, structure you remove silicon and put a boron so in this case if you see what happens is this will form a bond this will form a bond and this will form a bond so what will happen is this electron silicon electron will be free correct and if you see there will be a hole created here. There is a hole. This is a hole that is created here. Correct. And now this, there is a hole here. The neighboring electrons can jump in this hole. So when they can jump into this hole, you will see electron traveling. Right. So if you, uh, the direction, the if you see the hole travels, if you apply electric field to it, you will see that the hole is moving in the direction opposite of electron flow. Right. If hole moves in this direction, you can see that the electron is moving in this direction. Correct. So under the influence of electron field, uh, electric field, the electron will move towards positively charged plane with the electron holes. And this type of transistor is called p-type. So this type of semiconductor is called p-type semiconductor. And if you see the application of uh, n-type and p-type semiconductor, these are used to create transistors. This is also used to create uh, solar cells right there are various combination of n-type and p-type is used for making 
lot of electronic components for example diodes are also used right ic's we use uh, this uh, transistor this diodes are told the, we have light emitting diodes and normal diode this also is a composition of n type and p type used for di uh, light emitting uh, small tuning bulbs or also used for rectifiers these transistors they are used by sandwiching a layer of semiconductor between uh, two type for example you have npn uh, transistor or pnp so you take 2n uh, semiconductor sandwich with the p or 2p sandwich with the n right so this is also used to detect or amplify radio signals you have solar cells this is also a uh, efficient photodiode it's used to convert solar energy to electric energy and uh, please know as gallium arsenide semiconductor is a very very uh, popular semiconductor it's very very fast response thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again